Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. Oh, crazy hair. It is a brisk day uh, today and we are headed out to the barn to check on Mr. Forrest and see if this is, this is actually what's left of his breakfast. And so I'm gonna see if he wants a snack and uh, pre-dinner snack and then we have got some barn chores to do today. My barn is a wreck and I am embarrassed by it but the only way to fix that is to clean it. So come along with me and let's check on see how all the critters are doing. Stretch. How are you? Some barn cat you are. Well, it would appear that Mr. Forrest is still napping. He was napping when I came out here earlier too. Oh, but he might get up for us. Forrest, are you gonna come over and have a snack? Are you gonna come over and have a snack? Yes, indeedy. Okay. So hold on, let me figure out how I'm going to hold it and show the people. Okay. You want it? Yes. We well, gotta get a hold of it. Oh, huh? maybe. Well, quit fiddle farting around. Let's do this. There we go. <laughs> okay, come on, people. See, it's over here, buddy. Look, it's over here. Look, it's over here. Look, it's over here. No? Are you sure? You just want my lovin's? Are you sure? Huh? Alright, well, let's love on you for a minute then. Is that what you want? So look who is not wearing his halter anymore. Doesn't have that ugly blue rope around his nose. He is a free man. Forrest, you sure? You want to wait for dinner time? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, he loves his chin scratches. They're the best. They're the best. Okay. They're the bestest. Yes. You're the bestest. Oh my goodness. You've been sleeping all day. You've been sleeping all day since you ate this morning. Came out to see if you wanted a snack at noon and you wouldn't couldn't even be bothered to get up. Now look at you. Yeah, you're up, but you're just itchy and stretchy. Huh? All you are is itchy and stretchy. Are you sure that you can't add hungry to that list? Hmm? No? Okay. Well, Mr. Forrest is more interested in doing boy things, so we're going to let him do boy things, and we'll come back and see if he wants some dinner. He's been drinking really well. He's been drinking pretty consistently about one and a half quarts of milk twice a day. Um, and so as you can see, this is there's about a pint left, a little less than a pint left in this bottle. He's allowed to have one of these twice a day, and which would be 
two quarts or four pints. And so he's eating three quarters of his allotment. And I'm not really sure what the Oreo is so ticked off about over there. Hmm. Wow. That's intense. I'm not sure what she's so mad about. Weird. Maybe she's coming into heat. That's possible. But anyway, we'll come back to Mr. Forrest with uh, his full dinner ration and um, we'll get some clothes done in between now and then. If you hear the banging in the background, now you know what it's from. Oreo's um, decided to pick a fight with the gate. I'm going to take you guys out here and show you the... Oh, I need to cover up that washer. you the progress on the shop and I've got to put these bags of insulation right now everything is you see those icicles so we are in a freezing rain time and so right now everything is beginning to be covered in a sheet of ice and then we are going to have freezing rain. Oh boy. I think I need two hands for this job. I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. So I got them in here, but here is the, I'll make this quick because you guys have seen most of what's happening in here. But we have the waterproof walls up now and the bathing room and that board that is on that wall back there is going to be what the countertop which is standing up right there will get attached to so that is what is going on got it all sheeted up so it looks like a real room in here so that's coming right along oh i came in here for a ladder let me get that ladder. Okay, <laughs> the ladder was actually in the barn, but uh, we're gonna get this feed unloaded right quick. This is my feed store run before the storm to make sure that I've got enough feed to get through the four days that I'll be not stuck on the farm, but choosing to stay on the farm because the roads are just going to be a sheet of ice because we're supposed to get like a half an inch of ice so um so i need to get this feed unloaded real quick Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> okay so so the lighting in my barn is not great at best and i mean this is i'll show you about what it looks like real time that's about what it looks like real time and so i have purchased new light bulbs to get hung and that is my task that i'm going to attempt to do I'm not super excited about it i don't really like ladders but here goes nothing.
one right above Velvet's head. Okay, so now we are after that one above Velvet. That doesn't work. Okay, now I'm feeling like I have to check the light bulb and make sure that it's not a dud. Oi. Lord, you have to be right in my business. Is that possible? I had no idea that this little chore was going to take me long. Okay, so for some reason, I went in the house and tested those big outdoor lights, and they work fine. So for some reason, this must just be wired for a less wattage. I don't know. I don't know anything about electrical, um, and but the household lights work fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these changed out and then get right back with you. All right. Check that out, you guys. That's not blowing you up or anything. That's just the way that it is. So I've got a couple. Um, there's one up there. It's no good. And I think that's the only one. But everybody else is lit up so that it's not nearly... Well, for one, I'm not going to have near the eyeball glare. Uh... I'm still going to have some, but, oh, this is so much nicer. Good. Now you can really see how dirty my barn is. Um, but it is time. I need to, you see Mr. Forrest there eating some grass. Oh, did you get tired of waiting for mommy? Uh, did you get tired of waiting for mommy to bring your milk? It's coming, buddy. It's coming. I'll bring it to you. I'll bring it to you. I promise. I promise. Yes, I know. I know that little fish just wants milk. Yeah, that little fish just wants milk, huh? Yes. I know. I'll bring it to you. I'll go get it right now. Billy Jean, there isn't any hair for you. You're past that. You might. <laughs> oh. Yes, I will get your grain in a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pushed him right off. Come on back, buddy. Come on back. Come on back, it's right here. There you go. So rude. Gosh, Billy Jean.
Check these little dudes out. They're getting so big. <laughs> They're already starting to get real feathers. My group of troublemakers. Huh, you guys. We're starting to show some signs of what we might really be. I'm a little concerned that the white ones are Cornish. And if they are Cornish, are they like the Cornish that we buy for meat? Are they going to get too big and we're going to have to butcher them at like six weeks old? I wasn't really planning on butchering anybody out of this batch, unless of course it was a rooster. Um, you know, we'll keep one rooster for every 10 hens and then the other roosters we will butcher, but I was planning on keeping all of the hens out of this batch to be my breeders with a long happy life here on the farm, but the Cornish that I have dealt with have been the Cornish cross um, that you buy for meat birds, and I'm hoping that these little white ones like this one over here, I'm hoping that's not what they are. Um, does look like maybe we've got a buff orpington there. Um, maybe some wine dots. I'm really hoping that that little guy there, uh, the black and gray, I'm really hoping that that's a barred rock. But there could be jumbos in here. There could be um, brahmas in here. They're all kind of starting to look individual, which is really cool. They're adorable. Look at Mr. King looking all mad at the world. And he kind of is. He's kind of turned into a uh, pretty aggressive boy. Haven't you? Not, um... I think he's just trying to play and stuff, so we're still trying to establish dominance and, uh, you know, let him know that he can, he can be a sheep with, you know, the, the sheep, but that he can't, it's not acceptable to ram humans, but I'm not really sure if that's ever teachable, and truth be told, it could be 100% my fault, because I loved on him, and he he was a bottle lamb i'm convinced of it um and a lot of times bottle lambs that are rams turn turn aggressive because they they don't have that boundary established or that um that knowledge that humans are higher up on the on the food chain uh so we have not been handling him a whole lot. Occasionally I'll come by and give him a little scratch, which he loves, his little tail wags. But he's been pretty aggressive with not only me, but now the dogs. And so I'm not sure what we're gonna do about him. This weather is downright nasty, you guys. It is freezing rain pouring out there right now. Rumor has it. Mr. Forrest decided not to eat all of his dinner. He decided to prove me wrong. So I'll be coming back out here at 9 o'clock to see if he would like a, a late night snack. And that's okay. As long as he's still drinking, um, then I'm, I'm okay with that. He, does, he looks great. His rumen looks fine. Uh, he came over and ate grain with the big kids again tonight, so 
I think he's doing okay. Um, he looks healthy. Uh, but he didn't finish his dinner, so I will give him more opportunities to do so. Miss Daisy's getting a drink out of the water. Miss Daisy's allergies are coming back, which means that her allergy shot has worn off. Which I was seriously hoping it would just take one, but it's not the case for Miss Daisy. These girls are insatiable. Can't wait to put them outside, but this weather is just not conducive to it anyway. And we don't have a safe place for them to go outside in the long term yet. We still have fencing to do. Hello, angry one. Are you still angry at the world? Hmm? I think you might be going into heat, young lady. Yeah? You still mad at the world? Hmm? Don't bite me. Miss Velvet's working on her brain. She's doing good. I've got her on the I added the corn oil to her diet and she gets, you guys, she gets six pounds of grain a day. Um, so don't think that she's not getting plenty of grain, but she's still just not quite where I want her to be. She's looking better, but I mean, really, I'd like her to be chubby. <laughs> but wouldn't have any mother, I mean, all mothers want their kids to be fat and happy, right? Well, I appreciate you guys coming along this ride with me today um, in attempting to get some more light in this barn. It's It feels good to get some more light in here. Um, it will be better to work in. It will be better to video in for you guys. Um, and there's still, this barn has a long ways to go. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, we bought this property a year ago. We went back and forth for almost a year and I just got here full time in October of 2022. Um, and this barn had load upon load upon load of stuff in it. Um, and so we've taken a ton of stuff out, but we still have a long ways to go. There's still, you know, black garbage bags that I've filled up that need to go to the dump. We still have a whole wood pile. Uh, the wiring needs to be completely redone. Uh, but for now, um, you know, use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without, right? So right now we're using what we have and I replaced the light bulbs and I am a happy camper with the light that I have in here. And we will continue working on this space for our farm. And I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and watching us and encouraging us along the way. Sometimes it's just days of maintenance. Sometimes it's just days of, you think you're gonna spend 15 minutes on a project and it takes you an hour and a half. And sometimes that's just the way it goes on a farm and anywhere and we have to keep walking in life and keep putting one foot in front of the other and being grateful and blessed for what we have. And the other projects will be here tomorrow and we'll do them then. So I hope you guys had a beautiful day and I'll catch you on the next one. Yours truly.